Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates where today I am starting off my Christmas series 2020 with these delicious Buckeye pretzel peanut butter bites. Now, I do have the original version down below in my description box. I made these last year, but today it's all about the deluxe version. Okay, if you're ready for these, get your peanut butter and let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start by making the peanut butter filling. Now, in a large bowl, I have one cup of peanut butter, any flavor that you want. Now, I'm just using this right here. Now, to that, we're gonna add half a cup of softened butter. We're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. Now this is optional. If you don't want that extra vanilla flavor in there, then you don't have to put it in there, but we're gonna do it. Cause we like it like that. <laughs> and then we're going to add one and a half cups of some powdered sugar. That's what's gonna sweeten this up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our electric hand mixer that I have right over here and we're going to blend this on low speed until we get the, the powdered sugar kind of mixed in. And then what we're gonna do is just ramp it up to a medium speed and get it nice and creamy. Okay, that is nice and creamy. Okay, so we're gonna start by using these tiny twist pretzels. And they look like this, like you know, little bows. <laughs> this is what we're gonna be using. And you're gonna need about 72 of these, and these will make, <laughs> you want this one? It'll make about 36 treats with this batch right here. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna, first off, have you a pan ready with some parchment or some wax paper, anything like that, that will hold your little pretzels right here. And then you're gonna use a one inch cookie scoop or you can even use like a tablespoon. And we're just gonna pull some of the mixture here. We're gonna place it right in the center of our pretzel. And then we're gonna take another pretzel and then we're going to kind of push it down just a little bit until it kind of comes out of the holes of your pretzels on the top and the bottom. And I'm gonna show you a close up here in just a second. And then you just wanna lay these on your sheet pan. Like that. Okay, we got our pretzel. I'm just gonna scoop some of that mixture out. Put it right in the center. If you push it onto the pretzel, it'll help pull the mixture out of your scoop there. All right, get your other pretzel, place it on top, and just squish just a little bit, just like that. And then just lay it on your sheet pan. Okay, I'm gonna place these in my refrigerator or freezer just until we get the chocolate melted and ready to dip these into. So, I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm gonna be doing the double boiler method to melt my chocolate chips here. Now, I'm using a white morsels here. Now, I'm bringing a large pot of water that's about one third of the way full to a boil, and then I just put in a glass bowl that will kind of fit the pot in here and let it get nice and warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my chips. And this is about a 10 ounce size. Now to that, I'm going to add about one tablespoon of some Crisco shortening here. Now what this will do is 
give it a nice sheen and also allow it to be nice and smooth and silky. All right, and then what you wanna do is just continually stir this. You can see it's starting to melt down there at the bottom. Okay, so as soon as this is nice and smooth, I'm gonna bring it back. Okay, we're almost getting there. Now, if you don't want to do the double boiler, you can certainly put these in the microwave and melt them there. I just don't have a really good track record with that. <laughs> I tend to overcook it or it just doesn't come out right. But when I do have the double boiler and add some Crisco shortening, that's what I get right there and it's really nice. So I'm just gonna continue this until we get it nice and smooth, which we're, I think we're almost there. We're going to start dunking. Okay, so now I've dropped the heat on my burner to a low to kind of keep it all nice and warm and keeping it nice and smooth, just like that here. And I'm just going to take one of my pretzels right here and take the double end here and then just kind of push it into the chocolate on the front and the back. Make sure you get all the excess chocolate off. And then what we're gonna do is lay it on the pan here. Now I've got two colors of holiday cheer here. <laughs> Some green and red sprinkles that I'm just going to lightly sprinkle on the top. There we go. All right. We're gonna take our pretzel at the small end there and we're gonna dip the double end to the front and just kind of push it forward, push it to the back. Be very careful with your fingers. Get all the excess off. And then we're gonna sprinkle, which I'm gonna have my husband do. I'm gonna chocolate these things, and then my husband's gonna sprinkle. You just don't want me eating them while I'm chocolating them. <laughs> I know, right? Keep them busy. Okay, as soon as we get these all done, I'll bring you back. Okay, so we have them all covered in the chocolate right here. Now, at some point, I did add another tablespoon of some Crisco just to keep it at that consistency that we were looking for. And I kept it on the low heating just to keep it nice and warm as we were doing this so the chocolate wouldn't kind of seize up and get cold. All right. I got my taster here and he's going to try one for you. Okay, so we just pulled these out of the freezer and I placed these on our serving platters. Now, if you leave them in the freezer after you dunk them in the chocolate, it will help solidify the chocolate like that and that peanut butter mixture. It'll be really easy for people to pick these up. Look how nice these look. All right, we're gonna try one of these for you. Just the coolest little Christmas treat. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. They're good. They're good. Buckeye pretzel peanut butter bites. Mmm. That white chocolate's really nice. It is. It is really nice. Take your Buckeyes, the original ones, and make them deluxe. <laughs> right? Yep. There you go. All right. <laughs> So I have other Christmas treats from the past two years that I will link down below in the description box if you want to check them out and stay tuned because I'm telling you between now and Christmas, we're going to be unloading lots of treats, appetizers, and some dinner ideas to get you through December. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready for that one? Mm -hmm. He's ready. <laughs> we're going to be doing a lot of walking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. Don't forget our thumbs ups. Comment down below. You know, I love all of your comments. Okay, we will see you on our next Christmas show. Bye, this is mine. Mine.
The kids are out of luck. You got that right. 